those of you that are new to the channel, thanks for joining. And for those of you who aren't, you know we've been pretty busy around here the last few, uh, it's probably about months now, but we got the new office space, shop space to build out the new van. So we had to, uh, we had to build this office area. We're kind of renovating the shop to get ready for the, the new van build. It's not quite done, so I'm not gonna show you that just yet. But the office space here is more or less done. So I figured I would show you kind of the new headquarters, give you a quick tour and let's, uh, let's get to it. It's been a long time since I had a stationary workspace, but with a few new projects I am starting up, I needed a bit of a home base where I could properly organize everything. I use this space to plan, shoot, and edit my videos for this channel, as well as stay on top of some of my other businesses. Luckily for me, I was able to start with a clean canvas and build out the space exactly to meet my needs. The space is primarily a workspace for me to work on my van, but I also wanted to design an office that kept me creatively motivated during the process and allowed me to do deep work and focus for extended periods of time. To start with the office design, I knew I wanted to incorporate a few key elements. A dedicated work area where I could sit down and use it to edit video and complete other work-related tasks. For the desk, I purchased some IKEA standing desk legs and made my own tops to better match the aesthetic I was going for and give it a bit of a unique look. I choose to use a standing desk whenever possible as I find it helps me with my posture and I find my do my best work when I stand for tasks like brainstorming, replying to emails or general planning. And when I really need to get into deep focus for video editing, it's easier for me to sit down. For my chair, I use the Aileron chair from Herman Miller, and if you ever sat in one of these chairs, you will understand why I chose it. It has the perfect ergonomics for me and allows me to sit comfortably for extended periods of time. Typically, I set a 90-minute timer on my computer, turn off all devices and notifications, and use this time to get into an extremely productive state. This practice of time blocking allows me to be extremely efficient with my time. As I set up my desk area, I wanted to create a space that was visually appealing to me and, match, and had a matching aesthetic. I went with a BenQ 32 inch monitor to allow me to easily edit videos paired with a vertical block MacBook stand to match the other accessories on my desk. I also wanted an area to lounge and relax. While having an area to focus is super important, it was equally as important for me to have an area where I could relax and take a break to reset. This beautiful couch is from EQ3 and homemade coffee table paired with hairpin legs give me the perfect opportunity to take a break from my computer. For the type of work that I do, cables become a huge problem and nothing wrecks a minimalist looking space like poor cable management. So I purchased a variety of cable organizers and Velcro straps to help clean things up. I've tried to make it so everything in this space has a spot which helps keep the overall place organized and clutter free. The last thing in this office I wanted to incorporate was the ability to work out. I find it really easy to get so consumed in work that I forget to focus on my physical health as well, so it was important for me to incorporate this into the space. I have a treadmill, a workout bench with free weights, and a road bike on a trainer connected to Zwift. Overall, I think I've designed a really functional space that is going to allow me to be very productive in the new year. If you are interested in any of the products mentioned, I'll leave links in the description below. And if you'd enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to me if you click the subscribe button and gave the video a thumbs up. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. That's kind of the office tour. It was a lot of fun putting this together and a lot of fun actually building out the area. I'm excited to use it. Like I said, the shop area is not quite done. That's gonna be in probably the next episode, so stay tuned for that one. If you enjoyed this video and want to follow along, do me a favor, click the uh, subscribe and like button below, and we'll see you in the next one.